Okay, question 17, again, the same thing, the maximum power theory again. So we need to find the feminine equivalent circuit between terminal A and B. So to do this, okay, what we can do is we can again draw a loop here. So if I draw a loop here, you can say that the, so A and B is already open circuit. So the open circuit voltage is actually the feminine equivalent. So it will be 12, okay, plus, so the current here is I, this current here is I. Um, So twelve is equals to uh, yeah. So if I draw the loop, twelve volts, the plus is in line with the loop, whereas the one ohm, two ohm, and six volt is against the loop. Okay. So in that case, I can say that the uh, I multiplied by one plus two plus six. Okay, why? Because this is the voltage drop across in the opposite direction. So 12 volts, the current is going out of the positive. The one ohm, two ohm and six volt, the current is going into the positive. Okay, so whatever is going out of the positive is equal to whatever going into the positive. So that is the KVL loop. Okay, so from there you can solve for I, <clears throat> you get it as two ampere. So once you get this, you can <clears throat> calculate VAB. So how do you calculate VAB? Okay. So if you, uh, maybe you withdraw the circuit a bit differently. So 12, one, two, six, So where is A and B? So this is B and this is, you know, sorry. No. Yeah. Okay, so this is A, this is B. Okay, and we know that the current coming out is two ampere. So the current coming out is two ampere the voltage drop across the one ohm uh, resistor here will be in this direction, which will be two volt. Okay, so with that, you can say that the voltage that you see here will be 12 minus two, which will be 10 volt. Okay, so that is how you can uh, come up with the sort of feminine uh, voltage, okay, across A and B, because you already know the current and you know the voltage drop across the one ohm resistor here. Okay, the four ohm here is parallel across this whole branch over here. Okay, that means if this is, 10 volts, then the same 10 volts will appear across all three branches. Yeah, okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I think I drew it wrongly here. The six volt, ah, okay. Yeah, okay, so sorry about that. Now, this is the correct circuit. The four ohm is only parallel to the six volts, correct? Yeah, so this, uh, basically you can see that we know from our KVL loop that there is one amp, uh, two ampere coming out. So the voltage drop across the one ohm resistor is two volts. So 12 minus two will give me 10 volts over here. All right, so that will be my VTH. Okay, and for my, uh, RTH. Okay, so for RTH, what are we going to do? Okay, so
Okay, so for the KVL loop, okay, we can ignore the four ohm resistor again. Why? Because in our loop over here that we draw, okay, the, there's only a uh, voltage supply here with respect to the four ohm. There's no other uh, component with a voltage drop here. All right, so since only a supply, so we just can factor that uh, without factoring or considering this four ohm resistor here. Okay, if there's another resistor in this branch, okay, then there'll be a voltage drop. Okay, so if there's some other component here, then there's a voltage drop. Okay, that will be caused by this current flow. Okay, but in this case, there is no component, correct? So the six volt will still apply when I just do this KVL loop over here. Okay, now for the RTH, okay, Again, the same thing, we remove the uh, two supplies and we look at it from the idea of an imaginary uh, supply where the terminal is. Okay, so if I draw my circuit, it will look like this. So we have a one ohm here plus a two ohm. Then here, and then I have another four ohm here. Okay, so if I look at it, the current that comes out of this imaginary supply, from this point, it will split into here and split into here, all right? Then when it comes through this two ohm resistor, at this point, you will see a short circuit and you will see the four ohm. And as what we discussed, you will always take the easiest part. That means this four ohm will no longer be part of the circuit. Okay, the only thing will happen is you'll go to the one ohm and you'll go to the two ohm and you'll come back. Okay, so the only resistance uh, that is seen is one parallel with two, okay, which will give me 0 0.667 ohms. Okay, so the final uh, Thevenin's equivalent will look like this. 10 volt with 0 0.667, Okay, uh, yeah, so the question asks for determine the maximum power. So to determine the maximum power, that means the load resistance, when you add a load, that load will also be 0 0.667 ohm. Then I will have the maximum power. So you just apply the same uh, formula, which is I L square R L. Let me finish this, then I'll come to the question. So I is again V by R. So it is 10 volt over 0 0.667 plus 0 0.667 square multiplied by 0 0.667. Okay, and you will get an answer of 37.5 watt. Okay, so let me look at your question. Uh, there is no need to calculate the terminal voltage. Okay, so if you do not calculate the terminal voltage, uh, I mean, yes, if you, if the question just ask you what is the terminal, uh, what is the resistance of the load to get maximum power transfer, then you just calculate. RTH is enough. But if they ask you what is the power, okay, that means in order to finally solve this and tell what is the power, I still need to know what is my VTH. Okay, so depending on the question whether it's asking just for the load that will give the maximum power or the actual power itself. 